Hello and welcome. This is a short how-to movie demonstrating how to integrate the shoot gardening plant list into VectorWorks Landmark. To begin this exercise you'll need to copy the shoot plant list folder across to your desktop. You can copy this across to any suitable place on your computer and once you've done that, if you open that up, you'll see that there are two documents in the file. Once it's copied, you can open up your Vectorworks Plants database. Make sure that you have the UK plant data layout set. Go to File, Add Additional Plant Data. Choose your, find your file, and open. Just a quick tip here, if your file, if you find that it's greyed out or you can't open it, just check that the file type is set to FileMaker Pro Files. You can see at the bottom of my screen here, there's a a file type option where it says show and FileMaker Pro files. That will just take a while to open up. The plant list itself contains around 13,000 plants so it'll take a little while just to copy the, all those across. And you see there, 13,083 new plants have been added. Obviously, if you've got other plants already in your database, then one easy way that we can search for this specific set of plants is simply by typing shoot in the data source field here. So let me just expand this database up. For example, if I went to find, I can type in shoot hit return and that returns just those plants. So you'll see that the shoot plant list itself contains the botanical name, the common name, also contains a unique shoot code here so if I run through any of these plants you'll see they each have a code and that corresponds back to the shoot website itself. One other thing while we're still in the plant database is the UK web data layout and here I'm just going to show you the shoot web tag so this will pick up the shoot website and will show the shoot web page for the specific plant I've selected in my Vectorworks database. So again if I run through to a different one you'll see that that completely changes. As with previous websites that we have tags for here, I can simply take this image and drag it across to my image on the page here. And if I go back to UK plant data, then that's in my data there. So as well as the, the names and the code, you'll also see that we have a paragraph description of the characteristics within the, within the database. So once we've got that, what we can do is we can send or create Vectorworks plant lists. So we can either ex uh, send this entire plant list out or we can just do a set of found plants as we would normally. Now, One way to do that might be to mark particular plants as your 
It's your favourite plants. Let's just I'm just gonna pick a random set of plants here. And then I'm going to do a find for favourite items that I've linked with shoot. And this returns just those five plants relating to shoot that I marked as favourite. I can then file and create back to its plant list. And I might call this shoot favourite. Go OK. So that's now created. Back in my Vectorworks program, what I might want to do is add a new plant. So I go to my plant options and I'm going to choose that's what I wanted. I'm going to edit the definition and I'm going to get the plant data. This is now loading in the full shoot plant list, which I previously brought in. So you can access the entire plant list, but as usual, um, if you've been using this previously, it's a better idea to create a favorites list. And from there, then you can bring those into Vectorworks. Almost done. So there you go, this is the full plant list that I'd created previously, but there's my new shoot favourites that I've just created, and they're the five plants there. So let's choose. Uh, love in a mist and okay that that and you'll see the ID tag is actually set to the the common name at this point in time okay so we've started to bring in the shoot information one more thing to point out is that we've created a plant list worksheet specifically for exporting your shoot information back out to the shoot website. So we're just going to open up a file that has that worksheet information in. Now again this file is in the shoot folder that you've been supplied with and you can see it's just called plant list shoot gardening. So we'll open that file up. So as you can see the plant list is already in the sample drawing here. I've got one plant in there just so that you can see that populated. And with all, as with all Vectorworks resources, we can very simply copy and paste that into our actual project file. If I, if I right mouse button click and recalculate that will update with the plants that I have in my particular file. So nice and nice and simple. And you'll see that that plant list worksheet has been copied over to your project file as well. As a final step, what you might want to do is export this list back out to the Shoot website for import. The way we do that is to double click on the spreadsheet within the drawing, double click on the plant list. With the plant list open, check for two things. You need to check in the Shoot ID code column to make sure that you have an ID code in there and also check in the plants I have column that's in column D 
this column needs to either have an X, as you can see here, or it needs to have the word yes in that column. You'll find that if you've checked the plant as a favourite in the Vectorworks plant database, then it will usually come through with yes in this column here. As I say, you can either have an X or yes. Um, so just make sure that you have both the ID code and the plants I have. Otherwise, when you come to import the plant list back into the Shoot website, any plants that don't have an ID code and don't have a either an X or a yes in the plants I have will not actually get imported into Shoot. Now, of course, if you're using plants that did not come from the Shoot plant list in the first place and you want those to import into your Shoot plant list, you will need to map the code across manually with this current version. Having made these checks, you can now go to File, Export, Worksheet. So we're going to save this as a comma separated file format. Click OK and then give that the name that you want to give it. Notice that the file ends in txt and this is absolutely fine for importing into the latest version of the Shoot website. If you do have any problems, what you can try is to change this file extension to CSV. You shouldn't normally have to do this, but you can simply just try changing the extension as you can see here. When you do that, you might come up with a warning and just accept that by saying use CSV. The file formats are essentially the same internally, um, but just something you can try if you do have a problem with that TXT file that comes out of Vectorworks, but that should be pretty rare occurrence. To add your Vectorworks plant list back into the Shoot website, having signed in, go to your garden notebook and you will see their import plant list. So I can choose the file and don't forget it can be a .csv file or a .txt file as just explained. Choose that and click on import. And you will get a message saying file uploaded and processed and how many plants were added. And obviously in this simple example we just added three plants there. And if we go to plant lists then we will see our Vectorworks plants have been uploaded and we now see the shoot website information being combined. Thank you, that brings us to the end of this demonstration movie.